So on September 26, 2023, I, Rossi Dorado, turned 23 years old. I definitely don't think I understand how fast I have turned from 13 to 23. But the point is, the older I get, the more I realize that if I don't prioritize working on my dreams, time will fly by. Whilst I just prioritize doing things for others and desperately pleasing them in that attempt. The older we get, the more we realize we're not going to be here forever. If you try to keep every person happy, the one person that won't be happy is you. Living up to other people's expectations will drive you crazy. It will make you function in Superman mode until Clark Kent has a heart attack. It's great to get free from addictions, but one of the greatest freedoms is to get free from people. People will tell you what to wear, what to drive. They're quick to tell you how to run your life. Sometimes they can't even run their own life. You should understand this, that it was always going to be your family and your friends that would be the first ones to try and talk you out of your vision and your big idea. Be nice, go the extra mile, but don't be a people pleaser. Growing up, I was a kid who helped everyone. I was always appreciated and rewarded for lending a helping hand or for being proactive whenever help was needed. And this turned me into a people pleaser because somewhere I started craving the attention and the rewards that came helping others or doing things that others wanted me to do. For all I know, when you do things what others want you to do over things you want to do, Days just go by and months turn into years and then you are just 23 whilst feeling underachieved and a failure. But the pandemic, which was yeah, three years ago, has led me into a lot of realization. Because of which, the isolation that it brought and a lot of time to ponder has taught me a couple of lessons. And one of them is, the world doesn't revolve around being there for everyone all the time. There's more to life. Cutting a set of friends from your life can really get you out of the rut. But in an attempt of trying to distance myself from all the friends which I clearly outgrew of, I decided to embark on this journey of self-discovery by myself. Which resulted in me being sad, lonely, disconnected and feeling a lot of home. And being at a remote job didn't help either. It just felt and still feels like I, my life is a bubble from my bed to my desk which results in a salary at the end of the month. With all the sitting, limited touching of the grass and stuffing my face with food unlock another insecurity of mine. Being conscious about my extra weight on the body. Which again, going out was extremely tough because my people-pleasing tendency told me that there won't be a single interaction where someone would comment on how much weight I had gained and how much disapproval they had of that. The loneliness and the weight gain pushed me to my absolute depths of my rock bottom. And this was all happening around this time last year. So beginning of 2023, I decided I wanted to change at least one thing in my life. And that was going to the gym. Not because I wanted to lose some weight, but I wanted to use that as an excuse to get out of the house and meet new people, make some new friends. 38,218 rupees. That's how much I spent on this new habit of going to the gym this year in 2023. Only to show up 76 days out of the 365 days I paid for. But after a lot of trials and forcing myself at the gym, a morning walk followed by a quick skipping session is my closest attempt to staying active. So let's circle back on the original topic of being a people pleaser and the need to be liked, wanted and appreciated is a human tendency. 
and many of us have been a victim of it at least in one phase of our life and there will always be something somebody doesn't like about me there will always be someone commenting on my weight or about how big my lips are until and unless Thank i you. make peace with life and define what makes me happy as i turn older i realize that there are very few things that truly bring me happiness number 1 being documenting my journey and making this video for you i truly appreciate you watching this video number 2 is being able to afford my independence it gives me great pleasure whenever i have money to afford my experiences and things and number 3 is having a lot of new experiences across the world yeah i still can't afford it but why not dream about it so here's an open letter to my 24 year old self